Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and we are on the Dino A Day review series. This is the Thylacolio. Now, though commonly kind of passed over, for lack of a better way to put it, Thylacolio is a beyond dangerous tame. Now, base stats are just insane. I mean, 6,000 starting health is amazing. Good starting stamina. Um, in general, just the, the stats on this thing are pretty crazy, like almost equivalent to a Rex starting out, but much faster and more dangerous in literally every way. Uh, if it was me, what I would do is I would focus a lot of points kind of split out. Um, it depends on what you want to do with this thing. If you want to turn it into a destroyer of death, I would 100% put a lot of your levels into health and melee. But one thing to add in there, melee does not help its special attack. And if you don't know what that is, I'll go ahead and show you in just a second here. So what is the Thylacolio? The Thylacolio is, well, I mean, for lack of a better word, it's commonly called the Danger Kitty. Because when you go in the uh, Redwoods Forest, I'm sure almost everyone has had one of these experiences. You jump, and all of a sudden you're on the ground being eaten alive by a Thylacolio. There's nothing you can do about it. So what they do is they kind of hang upside down on trees and they just pounce on you when you're on a flying tame and they have like a heat seeking missile option i guess if you want to call it that where like the game helps you knock things down which kind of sucks but um they are just destroyers of worlds because it pins you your bird everything and it's just it's just game over um so they're really fast the thylacolio is a very fast tame um, it's got a very solid jump ability, um, because it's actually able to climb with said jump ability. It has a very strong movement attack where it can kind of do like a slicing bite. It, and I have used it in PvP purposes for what I'm about to explain to you. Because they are so fast and have such a high stamina, they are great at chasing down players and eating them alive. Because they do so much base damage and have so much health, even if a player gets out a really solid weapon, if they're on foot, just chase them down and eat them alive. It's it's really easy to do. There is no secondary attack. It's just a primary. It also has a roar. It's kind of creepy. Uh, but, you know, oh well. It kind of looks like the American Lion, actually, before the American Lion went extinct. For those of you who are like, that's not real. It is. Look it up. Um, so the Thylacolio is really neat just for a lot of these basic purposes. Now, it really is an all-out war machine. It doesn't really have any PvE purposes, other than maybe getting you to a couple unique locations that other teams can't, because they can't climb. But what you can do with this guy, and a lot of people forget about this, which is why it's so, so useful to have one of these things, uh, you can climb any surface that is vertical. Now, I'll show you how to do that. You literally just hit spacebar and hold spacebar to get onto the wall and you can kind of look around in different directions and do whatever you need uh, you can kind of climb straight up or straight down there's not really an easy way to move to the left or right uh, you can slide but it does move very very quickly now you can climb all the way to the top it does take stamina quite a bit of stamina actually um, and if you climb over the top, obviously you see the consequence, you'll fall down. Obviously what you should do is go to the ground really quickly and uh, kind of drop off so it doesn't take a bunch of fall damage. Because yes, they do take fall damage. Um, but other than that, it's a really neat attack because there's something really cool about it. I'll go ahead and show you here. Uh, well, I meant to not kill those things. I need to find a tame that I can get on the ground. Uh, let's see if I can get like beavers to come join me here and uh, you can basically I'll show you how to do the pin to the ground technique and uh, it's really overpowered now the only negative about this pin to the ground technique is it does not scale with your melee damage it only does 40 base attack that's it nothing else so it's really only good at keeping someone on the ground it's not superb at really anything else other than just like catching them off guard and getting them to the ground now once you get them to the ground if you do have scaled melee it will actually do a load of damage because you've basically put them to the ground and then you can just take advantage of the fact that they're still there all right beavers come on Man, these things are so slow there we go okay that one might be a little quicker so basically what you do you can see these beavers are no joke. They shred some carnos and all that kind of fun stuff. You get to a climbable area. 
find a tame that can be pinned. So I guess anything that's not like a giant or a large tame. Um, even some large tames can be pinned. You go up the tree just a little bit, look down, and you'll see these like indicators show up. If you see an indicator, it basically means that you've got the ability to pin something to the ground. Um, and you can just shred that thing. Now you do have to be kind of accurate with it. And it does take a little bit of practice getting used to actually hitting things with this. Um, but what you have to do is if you land on it, it'll pin it to the ground. You'll see what I mean once I actually successfully hit one of these things. Come on, get up there. There we go. And then you just hold that attack. You're not, you're not gonna do it for me? Fine, Dilacolio. Um, apparently he doesn't wanna let me have my moment here. There it goes, you can see it now. And it'll do the base attack damage up until the point where you uh, literally run out of the attack. Uh, you can pretty much do it with any tame that's small enough to be pinned. Um, I don't think bears qualify. We can give it a try though. Nah, bears 100% don't qualify. Um, but any small tame like Tyrannodons, Argentavis, you can knock people off of tame. So if someone's on a T-Rex, you can knock them off of a T-Rex. And that's a good thing to do. But uh, really ambushing is, it's, it's difficult. Because you have to somehow find your way up into said tree. Um, find a successful way and a thing to knock off of or actually get. And that's just how it works. Now what is the Thylacolio really good for? Because you're probably realizing pretty quickly that this wall thing is cool but it is not by any means something that is overpowered or highly useful in any way, shape, or form. Um, it is literally a mini T-Rex that's faster and more mobile. Uh, the stat, I mean, you're looking at it right here. This is a wild tame, 20,000 health, no imprint boost, no, no melee damage boost. Overall, it's a mini Rex, it's just faster. Um, it can move very quickly. It's great at caving if you take a Thylacolio into a cave because they're still pretty small, they have a huge damage range, uh, so they can really shred things quickly, which is important when you're in a cave, trying to take out bats quickly. And uh, that ability to jump and climb surfaces is really useful inside of a cave. Uh, it's something that is highly underused, and you should definitely use it more often. Um, really? Game? Come on. I wanted to get on that side so you can see me try and get a Pteranodon here. We're just going to go up here then and see if we can do it. Aha! See what I mean? So you can pin things out of the sky. It's just not very easy. And uh, you don't do superb damage. But it's doable. If you get good with it, some people I've seen do some pretty crazy stuff with it. Um, but you have to obviously wait. It's a waiting game. Um, but it will do caves pretty well. It does gather polymer, hide, and meat pretty well. Um, it's nothing super, I mean, you can't bring them into most boss fights, which is really kind of stupid, just because, I don't know, they're maybe too mobile, but I don't understand why you can't bring these guys into most boss fights. It's really not my favorite thing. I don't know why they would do that, but oh well. Um, you can get pretty good range on the jump. Uh, you just have to know where to go. And uh, other than that, really it's just an all-out PvP style tame or caving tame. Doesn't really have any super utility, maybe a little bit of a scouting purpose. Um, and that obviously ability to jump from the sky, but you will take fall damage, so be careful about that. So anyways, the Thylacolio, also known as the Danger Kitty, Obleep, lots of different ways. I mean, there's another one in the wild, you see, they have no fear, they will attack literally anything. But, they can also be pinned themselves. See, I've kind of grabbed it. Uh, it doesn't grab, you can't grab large tame, so a bear is considered a large tame. Um, but, oh well. And I don't see anything else that I can jump on, but you can see it's got a pretty good range, so you can actually get some pretty crazy jumps out of this guy. Uh, once you get good with it, of course. And Pegomastex, obviously, even more frustrating, needs to die. So anyways, hope this video helps you out, and uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything that I'm missing, feel free to leave it here. But really, I think the, the Thylacolio is only a PvP monster, um, PvP dino, with a couple of unique features. The caving ability makes it quite useful, and that ability to move super quick and kind of turn on a dime makes it a highly useful scouting team. But outside of that, nothing super valuable. Let's see if I can beat this guy up the wall and actually pin him. I don't think I'm going to be able to.
Nope, not going to be able to. I'll just do my basic damage on him. And that's it. Alright, so anyways, hope this video helps you out. Teach. Out.